Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode four of Seven Days to Die of Seventeen. Let's play. And yesterday we're still on build 240, so I'm super pumped. We get to go in and see more of what we've been missing <laughs> with all the restarts. It's been crazy. Uh, three episodes a season, uh, pretty crazy. Uh, so I'm up here in my little um, base. Get it in a sip of coffee. Mm-mm-mm. So, uh, we have one point available for us. Uh, we got our three in perception. We got the boom headshot. Um, we have our four int. We have hammer and forge, but what level are we? Level eight. We could, we could get the bicycle, um, oh, cause we did get, we did find some iron and I think we can make everything on the bicycle since we found that iron. Uh, let's look one more time because that would make getting around so much easier. Um, takes two wheels um the bicycle chassis is what takes the five iron and we should have everything else nothing else looks too bad so let's see let's make sure they didn't change the wheel or anything 20 plastic oh two more forged iron we should still have enough so that would be a total of nine iron and we have 13 Hmm. That's going to be interesting. Um, okay, let's make sure we have we have the plastic. Bonk, bonk. Bonk. Also, since we got the iron, we can repair our pick. Which will be awesome. Oh, that's for a different thing. And we'll need some leather. Do we have the plastic? Oh, we don't have the plastic. I think we're 10 short because it's 20 per wheel. Yeah, we're 10 short. Okay. So we need to go loot some more houses. Also, I picked up a bunch of the snowberries from uh, snowberries. Uh, there was like a whole patch of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring one of these guys out and repair that up. Bada boom, bada boom. <laughs> um, once I get to a certain point, you know, I stopped recording because um, I don't want to go past 4 o'clock, at least not by much. If there's something I want to do, then I'll do it, but, oh, I'm... I want you in the other chest. Why aren't you in the other chest? There we go. I put all the, the main stuff that doesn't stack over here. Uh, so sort of make room over here and I'll probably take a lot of the stuff out uh, once <laughs> once we get a forge and we can start doing stuff and things I I had was gonna go outside and gather some more wood but which side was it on there there was a wandering horde came through um, bikers and strippers I think I think they may have finally left or maybe it was the logging off and back on I don't know but I 
<laughs> I had to stop what I was doing because if I had kept um, on, I would have attracted all of them. I did attract one and he came over and uh, destroyed one of my blocks. So I do need to get a block. Where are you at block? Uh, I also might want to take a little bit of that to repair up the other ones around it because uh, I don't... What did I just pick up? I think it was this block right here. Yeah, okay. There it is, yeah. This, this little guy right here. Yeah, that biker dude was just hitting on it and he wouldn't stop no matter how much I yelled at him, so. <laughs> um, so they they were from this this side. Oh, he broke, almost broke this one too. There we go. I think that was the only, no, he did this one too. There we go. Awesome, okay. <laughs> I'm thinking since the, the the ground down there is a little bit uneven, I may I may just uh, I may just make that whole area down there wood, because um, eventually they won't be getting into it anyway. So yeah. Um, which, <laughs> we got all the stuff in, okay, I'm trying to remember where I left off yesterday, because I did make, I did make a new world. Just so I could play while I wasn't um, recording. Okay, I believe, oh, look at that. Um... We, last episode, we looted up these two houses looking for a pot. Now we're going to have to go on another looting venture um, to try and find more plastic. Uh, I also, I saw something off in the distance this direction. So I think it was another POI. So we might want to go over that way. But before we do that, oh my gosh. Uh, we might want to maybe bring some food. I don't know. Oh, no. We don't have... Yeah. We only have, like, the one food. We have five yucca juice. Also, I'm going to switch to the machete. And we're going to take, like one of our steel with us because the machete is jacked but it's not jacked enough to um to require that whole steel so we're gonna wait until we use it a bit uh i took the mod out of my uh iron uh bat <laughs> i guess what you would call it and i put it in this one so this is like um, one point less than the bat. Or actually, no, I think it was, let's look. I think I switched. Uh, we might switch if we get more mods. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think it was one point less on the melee damage, but this machete was actually a little bit more than um, so, uh, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll just go back to the bat. I just like the machete a lot more. I like, I'm more comfortable with how it swings. And I seem to miss less. Um, and it's, and it's just, it's, it's faster. Uh, if you look, it's got 17 stamina cost. Um, 52 attacks a minute. Oh, wait. This is 16 and 50 attacks a minute. So that's actually slower than that. Uh, wow. 
400 durability and this has okay so this has more durability maybe we should just stick with our club but i like the machete because that way it's a weapon and i can slice animals up with it so it, it cuts down on one slot that i have to use uh so that's the main reason why i like it um what we might need to do is carry this wrench with us, and if we see a car, we loot it. Um, this also takes steel, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but I think we're going to have to cook up some more of this meat. I don't want to, but I don't think we're, we're having much of a choice right now not having any pots. And... I also got food poisoning again. I think they increased the chance or maybe it wasn't working as intended so they adjusted it and now it's working as intended and I don't know. It just uh maybe I've just been really lucky in the past and not gotten food poisoning when I should have. All right, so I think we want to go to the south towards our uh, marker here. Because if we could get that bike, it would take us a lot less time. We could go, uh, actually, let's go do this. Because check this out. Um, on the quest, we're, we're going to get Dukes and... Um, this is one we can go run to, uh, and the other ones we have are buried treasure, and they're over a kilometer away. So I want to maybe make uh, wait until um, I get the bicycle to go do those, and possibly even, you know. Um, Uh, an iron shovel because or you know at least some points into to mother load or something like that uh, to help because the it takes like so long to to do anything uh, although they did oh oh how much meat we get with the machete 27 I think we've gotten 29 before uh, but I think it could be probably because it is so damaged that we're not getting like the full loot um, look a nice little pond I can't see where my little arrow is. So I'm going to go around the pond. There, you can see so many rocks in this. This is cool. Um, I normally only like settling in, you know, the forest biome. But I think the cold, I, I think I'm okay with the cold biome. <laughs> I don't like the, you know, the desert or uh, the wasteland because of the vultures um, and, and dogs for the wasteland because uh, yeah, dogs just suck. Um, 
that I don't have enough time to react to those uh, to those guys. Yeah, we need the cloth because we don't have cotton right now. Maybe if this has us go into that forest, we'll pick up uh, some cotton and say, see, I'm curious as to um, how are crops going to act in the cold biomes? Will they, will they grow? Will they die if it gets too cold? Um, I'm curious because <laughs> inquiry minds want to know. Oh my god, I ran myself out of stamina with the Machidi. I thought he would be dead by now. And look, there's a vulture. Why is there a vulture over here? And it's coming like... You saw how far away it was. How come it's coming for me? How come it, it followed me all the way from wherever the hell it was? How come it, it knew exactly where it was? I don't like the vultures. Boy, in my other game, I had to go through a wasteland. My uh, trader was three kilometers away. <laughs> and I had to travel for over half of that uh, through a wasteland. And by, I mean, I was so scared. I just didn't stop. I didn't stop to fight zombies because uh, those vultures will will follow you and then wait for you to take damage and then they swoop down on you and at one point I had eight vultures following me eight vultures and I was like if if I start fighting something and I take one bit of damage uh, those guys are gonna swoop down and just instantly kill me instantly I mean eight of them there's no way I could deal with that. So I just kept running and running and running and running and running because I had three kilometers to go um, before daylight and I managed to outrun them. They, they did turn around after a while and go away. So I was very happy that I did not get murdered by the vultures. I mean, and it was really hard to to not stop and kill the zombies. Uh, I did have, I have to, had to pass up a wolf because uh, in case the wolf got up on me um, and, and started, okay, where is, I see it down there. I think they might have to make that a, a little bit um, less insubstantial from further away because sometimes it's a little bit hard to see it okay let's um get our oh no the belchers <laughs> they're the tourists okay um First thing I want to do is I want to just let them approach and then get on one side so they're all on the same side. Uh. Oh. Ah. I got trapped on the rock. Oh, that's so scary. makes the same noise as the cops do. Oh yes, and we got another point. That's awesome. So I guess they give you more than three um, in case something happens uh, that causes you. <laughs> I'm, I love it that I'm hitting the one behind him. Uh, but missing the one in front. That's, that's so funny. Um, that is sarcasm. Man, these guys are loud. 
wish there was a way to adjust the sound of sub. Because I'm telling you, I would make, uh, I would make the spider monkeys, I would make them very quiet. <laughs> Oh, come on. Dance with me, Bubba. <laughs> oh. No. Couple more zomberts over here. Where'd they go? Oh, there you are. Hello, zombert. It's, it's gonna. Um, oh no! That sounded like you hit me twice. Did it, or was that just? Was I just imagining things? And this is the girl zombie that sounds like a boy zombie. He goes, Arr! and it sounds like one of the guy zombie sounds. So, I don't know. I may switch back to the club. I'm just not, I don't know. I. I like the idea of, oh, the, is that the trash that I was looking for? Yes. Sweet! Definitely worth it. Got a duct tape. Awesome. So, um, yeah, that didn't take very long. Now we gotta go talk to the trader. Beep, beep, beep. Picking up the stones. Oh, more trash. Nice. Um... So yeah, let's uh, let's go back over here where our uh, little guy is. Let's um, pick up some of this cotton while we're traveling uh, because I'm low on bandages. Bandages must flow like spice. Yeah, I don't want to be um, afraid to use my bandage. Uh, speaking of which, I need one. Where is all the cotton gone? I just want the cotton. I should probably pick up the red tea, but I want to go to somewhere else and now that we know down to the south over here we have a good area of the forest, um, we'll have a place to come search for chrysanthemums when we're ready for them. Because right now I just don't want to uh, take up the room because I can always, uh, <coughs> if I need room, turn all that cotton into cloth and the cloth into bandages and in a stack. But <clears throat> ultimately, I would like to take it home so that I can use it to plant it eventually. Uh, because uh, I don't think I don't think we found a have we found a hoe in this uh, game? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> the cats. <laughs> um, we had family come down, uh, the mother-in-law has to, uh, work on Christmas, so they came down a little bit early for Christmas this year, uh, so we already had our Christmas, um, and we have boxes lying all over the place, and of course you know, cats and boxes and 
That's what my cat's doing right now. She's um, playing in the box. <laughs> Um, I'm really trying not to make a whole bunch of these arrows because I know in, uh, in a couple of levels I'm going to be getting some iron arrowheads. So I'm trying not to have too many of them left over because, oh, seriously. I'm tempted to let this vulture come. Let it come. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. I saw... I, see, I think he was attracted to me because I was damaged. So I think if you're full life, the, the vultures won't attack you. But it, once you start taking damage then they swoop. So I was very lucky that I had full health yesterday in my other game and I was able to run away from the Zomberts. Uh, able to run away from all of those... Oh, well, why am I power attacking? Being silly. for a minute. Mr. Chin. I think I'm going to call the Hawaiian guy Bubba. <laughs> because he looks like Bubba. Uh, actually, he doesn't look anything like Bubba. Uh, um, I had a cousin. His name was Bubba. Uh, well, his name wasn't really Bubba. That's just his, his nickname was Bubba. I swore I saw a POI over in this direction. Oh, I still haven't gone far enough. Um, didn't we just do that one? Did we do that one? No, 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 no. This is my other game, I think. Um, um, so it looks like we got a, is this? Yeah, maybe this, I think this is the one I saw from over there. Maybe we can go in and, and find a pot here. Um, Maybe there'll be some blinds and we can get uh, some plastic. Also, there might be some cars, but um, what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and repair this guy because it's really jacked now. And um, let's make a chest again, just so... Um, I'm not fighting encumbered because I will be encumbered in like once I do two things. There we go. And then I can just throw everything in there. And I guess I don't need to carry around the iron if I don't have the club. I always wanted to make sure I had enough materials for repairs. Oh, bird's nest. Unless we can grab some more aloe and whatnot while we're here. Alright. Oh, dude, I thought this was... Oh, there it is. Okay. I was like, I thought this was the entrance. Oh, um, let's go ahead and eat. Since we're down almost 30, which is almost all of our food. Oh, my God. Um, let's check our thirst station levels. Uh, 25. Uh, let's, let's hold off on our water. And I'm gonna try and make this sneaky sneaky. 
Maybe there'll be some food in the grill. Oh, it's empty. Crap. Okay. Just my luck. Whoa! Mommy! Oh, she was up. Okay. <laughs> I was like... Where the heck did it even come from? I didn't see it. That's for always getting the jump on me. <laughs> I saw one over up against this wall over there. I want to... Right by the trash can. Oh yeah. Pop. Um Alright, so the grill does not have the Ooh, look at that. A cooler. Oh, are we in hot weather? Oh no. Because it's the desert. Oh, there's no backpack there. I've been robbed. Uh-oh. <laughs> Center mass. Oh! No! Yes! Look at it! <laughs> Thank you for holding those for me, sweetie. That was mighty kind of you. Get some, uh, of the, oh, that was leather. Shh. Don't get excited about the leather. Oh, you're kidding me. We're gonna scrap that. I cannot believe that. Okay. Oh, there, there they go. I, I don't know what set them off, but... All the ones from the top are coming down, so that's okay. <laughs> Why is that so much fun to see an arrow sticking out of their their head? <laughs> two. He's got two in his head. Oh, that's twice as fun. Oh, nerds. <laughs> He's got three. <sighs> oh. All right, let me have my arrows back. Those are for you. We get a share. We get a share. We like sharing. Oh, while we're here. Oh, let's, uh... Bandage! <laughs> I have to have my bandages. I have this, uh, small addiction to bandages. Normally I make noise by now and then they come out and they bust out through this wall over here. But, um... If nobody's coming out, I'm going to take a second out and come over here and loot this whole wall of, uh, of cloth before it gets destroyed. Because I haven't, uh, the, the last couple of houses, they haven't had very many blinds. Either that or I've just been going through <laughs> so much bandages. Oh, man. Okay, um, I don't think there's anything back here. Sometimes there's... Oh, look at that. I'm so angry. <sighs> I 
see that all over the place and I can't loot it and it's taking up my lootable stuff. Oh, but okay. Sometimes there's not anything over here, but. All right, now's the, there is a door upstairs, but it's, um, it's a pretty solid door. So it, it would have, look, there's something under there. Oh, that's one of those chemistry sets. Hopefully they'll come over here and help me bust through this wall. my chest piece. Oh, that is so... Um, actually, no, I don't think I have boots. I don't think I have boots, and I don't think I have a hat, but I really like my hat because it adds um, of the cold pieces as well. There we go. Oh, dude. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and... Wait a minute. That sells for 24. Let's keep that because that was a duct tape that we had to sacrifice to make that <laughs> yeah basically oh look is that no that's just light and we already had guys um Ooh, that's from outside, I think. I don't see... Yeah, there's nothing over there. Sometimes there's a couple of things up on the top. That, uh, that zombie's gonna see me and hear me when I'm jumping. There's usually a couple of bags up here. Yeah, he's circling around now. What a chump. We got a backpack and it looks like, oh, a cowboy hat. Uh, yeah, my hats. Uh, that might be better for hot weather. So we'll, we'll take it back. I think we already have one though. his way through there. Um, there is, let's go ahead and uh, pair that up. There is a chest in here. Well, not a chest, uh, a crate. So let's go ahead and get that. I think it's a shotgun crate. Oh, it looks like it's a ra random crate because the last one I opened was the shotgun crate and I thought maybe it had been a working stiff tools crate before uh, so it looks like maybe it's just a, a random crate oh holy 
in the jump, bro. Because your head is obstructed. Ah! Alright. Get it on. Yep. <laughs> is that an arrow in your pants or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> oh my Give me my arrow back. Thank you. <laughs> an arrow in your pants. <laughs> oh. oh, sometimes I kill me. Okay, there's still two zombers. Oh, yeah. See, I'm scared to eat those now because I had goldenrod tea and it it didn't get rid of my food poisoning. <laughs> up there. Dang it. No pot again. Um, and I don't think there's any plastic in here. I was uh, hoping... I was hoping to get... Mr. Forehead has such... Oh, crap. There's three of them. set that I can't loot. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and take these beds apart. I don't think they're going to give us the plastic that we need. Uh, oh, arrow. Sweet. And we have our pick here. Let's go ahead and eat some of the sham sandwiches. I just hope, I mean, I don't really have anything to get rid of the food poisoning anyway. Um, <laughs> so, it's not going to matter whether I eat it here or at the house. Okay, there we go. Start banging away. Um, we're probably ready for a bottle of water too. Oh yeah, we're really low. That'll help us with our stamina regen for a little while. Maybe a little bit easier. So it's not quite 50. So it's 1870. It's not quite 50. Oh, 
we have a couple of points to spend. Whoa, let's sit here. Um, we have three points to spend, but what level are we? Oh, we're level 10, baby. Uh, 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 uh. We fought the full orge. Do, 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 do. I think we're going to go ahead and buy the bicycle too. And, oh, this is a tough one because uh, living off the land would be good if, I can't, I just can't remember if I found a hoe, but we we'll definitely want that anyway. And we're level 10, <clears throat> so I think it'd be okay. Oh, and an airdrop. Talk to the freighter and have an airdrop. Oh my god. That's taking us into the wasteland. Yeah, we'll just put our quick waypoint up there on this. Um, go into the wasteland <sighs> but I think if we go if we go just straight north I think we'll skirt most of it but then we need to in order to get directly to the trader we've got to traipse across this whole wasteland <sighs> we we'll gotta go to the trader anyway and the trader means wasteland uh, I really hope I find another trader somewhere so I don't have to go to the wasteland. Uh, so maybe once we get our bicycle, uh, we will go exploring and mapping out that town and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully there'll be, oh, there we go. Hopefully there'll be another trader in town. Oh, you kidding me all that time for a couple of ammos. All right. Sometimes it's just not wanting to go. Uh oh. I think they heard us. We're gonna get all the stuff and things. Um. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's a fat boy, and he's got me. He's got me trapped. Oh, he's so fast. Stay back. Oh, crap. <sighs> he got me. Got me. I just can't believe I am not finding a pot anywhere. And I'm curious, um... No, there's gotta be something that I can scrap with my wrench that will give me plastic. Oh, like, what if I wrench the suitcase with the suitcase? That gave me a little bit. I only need four more now. Do these... and not lootable. Hmm. There was another suitcase up top. On top. If I smack that. If I smack that, we'll have enough for our bike. Oh, yeah. Uh. Sweet. Um, so, that being said, we might want to go back to our house first, get the bike, and then that'll make traveling around to all the other places a little bit easier. And uh, let's go ahead and loot everything. But, let's leave the glass there. 
You're not good enough to scrap anymore. Mwahaha. Yeah, definitely. God, this is so hard not having a pot. Oh, now that we can make the forge, we can get a pot. We're level 10. We bought the forge tonight. <laughs> tonight we dine. We dine on bacon and eggs. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, we're going to need to go home, make the bicycle. Uh, that will make getting away from those stupid bolters and the stupid dogs a lot easier. Did I get this? Did I get this? No, I did not get the garbage. Oh, I need to stop looting things. Uh, that's the bad thing about getting a vehicle of any kind is that you don't get to loot as much because you're not walking. And you have to like dismount, get off your bike or your motorcycle or your mini bike or whatever in order to loot. And you don't want to just like stop every five seconds because then that takes, uh, takes away the whole point of being on a vehicle is to get there faster. <laughs> uh, come on, you can do it. I believe in you. <clears throat> I, in my other game, <clears throat> had to go through the wasteland and it brought me into another cold biome. I was like, cool, I'm kind of enjoying having the cold biome. Uh, and the trader was a different trader. And is, th is that block hurt? Oh, these are hurt too. Look at that, I don't have the stuff on me to repair it. I did not know that those were damaged. Okay. Oh, somebody left the door open. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Uh, the bones can go here. Do 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 um doot 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 now we're gonna keep that for like starting a farm or something around on me um <clears throat> okay so we know that we're gonna need this stuff I think we might actually need oh I hope we don't use more than three duct tape <sighs> we need to need two of those and our plastic Look at that, we had two different stacks of leather. What? What is going on? Is that all of the stuff that we need? Also, I want to take my dukes and some stuff to sell. Oh man. I think we might need to go to the trader first because I want to sell some stuff. We got like a um, some hats and stuff. See, I need to organize this because it I'm so confused. I can't see anything. It all looks bleh. <laughs> it's all like one thing. Alright, let's do the bicycle. Wheel. Do we have all the stuff for the wheel? We are missing oil and coal. Oh, I forgot about the oil and coal. So we need like or oil. Where's my oil? We got that. Uh, ooh. We 
barely got the coal, guys. And we need two of those. All right, and then Oh, I'm missing a mechanical part there and two mechanical parts. So we need three mechanical parts. All right, let's just get all of them. Uh, craft a bicycle chassis, craft bicycle handlebars. Oh yeah. Oh my God, look at that. It's gonna take over a minute for those tires. Ah. Um. I guess what, oh no, we don't have enough now uh, for the forge, so we're gonna have to make one. Whew. I'm so glad we had that. I was like, no, we need the forge, we need it. All right, I don't think we need any mechanical parts for the forge, though. Okay, so we need the five nails. Oh, this only... Oh, we're making one more. <coughs> so I forgot about the nails. <coughs> oh, pardon me for a second. All that stuff is going. Get a sip. Yeah, I need to get more, uh, I need that forge so I can make nails and get crates and get organized. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, there's the second wheel, sweet! Um, I don't, we can't make the bellows until we get our last duct tape, so. Oh, this is. The suspense is killing me. Ah. Oh. So what I guess we can do is uh, get our clay ready, and we have a little bit of raw iron uh, that we can um, make our bicycle, make the forge, put the forge down, get this stuff in there. Oh, there's the chassis. Uh, get that melted while we're out doing stuff uh, that will be in their making and that will be awesome there we go we're gonna craft that uh... oh dude we got forged iron now so the pick we have we can just uh, we can keep it repaired up I was uh I was really happy when we found that iron yesterday because I was like, well, we got the pick as the quest reward, but we have no way to repair it. So when we found that, that was really super awesome. So we're going to craft this. We're going to craft the bicycle. We're going to lay down the forge. And then we're going to get on a bike. We're going to go run. Uh, that. There we go. Now let's do the bike. Oh, I need a mechanical part. Gotcha. Boom! There we go. And we can put the rest of this stuff up. And I guess while we're waiting, we can look over here. I definitely wanted to sell the padded armor. We have two cowboy hats down here. And the cowboy hats, those sell for 22 so I think I'm gonna keep the one because that'll be good for um, heat resist uh, what do I have on six four so this shirt is better for cold weather um, And this one's better for hot. What? Well, we have three, nine, four. So we have that. We can just scrap this hat because we have the cowboy hat. It's better. Um, 
the duster has a 21 heat resist, so that would be uh, good for hot weather because that's uh, ours is minus 19. Ours has a lot of cold resist, so that's really good. Um, these iron gloves don't sell. We were gonna put those. Oh, there's our mm, there's our stuff. Let's get that down. We're gonna put it here and we'll move it later because we have our claim block down. We can, we can move it. Uh, we'll probably be gone longer than that, but that should be enough stuff. All right. Um, uh, I think I actually want to sell those. That's 70 coins. Um, and this, uh, see, because we have, oh, this is actually worth 50, and that's worth 22. And that's worth 76. So, I mean, it's definitely worth more. Oh, I think you can scrap these and get plastic. Uh, so maybe we might want to hold on to that. Um, I just want to keep that for fun. <laughs> what about this paintbrush? Ugh. We have a bunch of wrenches. I think we might sell let's go ahead and sell we'll sell these these two I just need to be able to see what we have it's all confusing laid out like that Because we can, we can scrap this one, scrap that one, keep this one as a backup, maybe repair it. Uh -huh. um, we'll probably melt down this hammer and melt down the hunting knife. have those so let's let's get get going um since we don't have as much stuff as I thought we would let's just go to the airdrop first oh we are mobile we got the stuff up. Oh yeah. Ow! Sorry, bike. Alright, I need to, uh... There we go, there we go. Oh! Oh no, oh no. Um, maybe we might... Is the road... Yeah, let's let's follow the road actually, because going through the wasteland, man, there is a especially this one. It's not really super flat. It's got a lot of hills and valleys and um, just a lot of uh, rough terrain. Uh, lots of core blocks here. <laughs> Look at that. We're on the road and we've already taken 4% damage. Uh, but a couple of that was rocks. Uh, 
See, I don't get why the road dips down here. Um, there is a bag. Duffel bags sometimes have good weapons in it. Look, there's another shiv. Okay, how close are we? Oh, really close. We should, oh, there's a dog. We should probably cut across here. a lot of food. Um, let's sort of have a look around here. Oh, oh, this looks promising right here. Oh, I see it. I see it. Do you see it? Do you? Do you see it now? Do you see it now? How about now? How about now? A pot! <laughs> See? We did it! Okay, now we need to go. Let's um, take this waypoint off and go to the trader. Oh, this is gonna be cross country. Oh, but we found a freaking pot, of course, since now we can make one. <sighs> okay, and I think. Coming from this direction, there's a pond and a bunch of valleys right next to uh, the trader. So, oh, this is really, really bad. Oh, we're going to have to get off and deal with them. Oh, don't you touch my bike. That's mine. Uh-uh. You get away. <laughs> we found the pot the day we got the forge. So, it looks like... Over to the north, we have a desert and more frozen wasteland. Oh, this terrain is so terrible for a bike. Um, yeah, I wanted to go a little bit to the north so we could go around those uh, great. Because we were, we were on foot last time and we barely made it around the other side of the lake. So we're going to try to come at it from this side. Oh man, poor Bikey. I'm sorry, Bikey. Yeah, we should be able to, there it is. Can we? Suck it, bro. Whoa! Oh! How did I miss? See what I mean? They're so hard to hit. I don't get it. Talk to me. 376 now, points. Take your reward and get the hell out of here. Oh, don't talk to me like that, bro. That's not nice. Wow. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell the padded chest armor, the cowboy hat, the iron boots, and 
I believe these two compound bows. But we got another one now. Yeah, I think let's go ahead and save that one too. I think we might actually scrap those. Uh, because you get three mechanics. Well, the three me the mechanical parts only sell for like three each. So if you get three mechanical parts, that's only nine. So maybe we won't bother with it. Oh my God, look at that. That's 35 coins. I'm going to sell that because I got a candy cane at home. <laughs> I got a candy cane at home. Oh, look at that beautiful mining helmet. 19 grand. <laughs> don't have that much. Can you, will you take 900 for it, please? No, I don't think he's going to do it for me. Um, he does have the concrete mix, but it's 250. And that's a little bit, right now I don't have enough money. I mean, the the cobblestone rocks was freaking awesome, but this is a little bit steep for me right now, still. Um, I don't, we're in a cold biome predominantly, uh, so I don't think a cooling mesh would be beneficial. Um, I might be interested in these mushrooms though. Yeah. Um, also, I don't think we've come across, we haven't really done a lot of exploring. Uh, so maybe I'll hold off. Mushrooms are pretty rare. Unless you find one of those houses that has the mushroom farm in it. And I don't remember exactly what it looks like. I think they should have lowered the ammo too. The co I mean, why is the steel cheaper? Degradation 200%. 50 and 8. Steel cased ammunition is a cheap alternative to using brass, but wears down barrels faster. Oh, so it actually does damage to your weapon. Interesting. Uh, interesting, interesting. Whew. I don't know that we'll be able to afford... Um, <laughs> ammo on the first one on the first horde it's gonna be rough you know I was uh, really wanting to make leather armor Cha -ching! thanks buddy no problem buddy you have a nice day <laughs> You know, you should really say excuse me, Bubba. Bubba butt, Bubba butt, Bubba butt, Bubba butt. Bubba butt. Oh. I hate it when I'm out of stamina. Out of stamina. Out of stamina. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh-huh. And now we need to take our looties back to our house. Oh, man. I don't know if I can get up that slope on the bicycle. Come on. You can do it. I'm sprinting. Uh. 
Yeah, slopes are bad. Let's go this way. Go through here. I like it that they sort of made uh, the terrain matter more. Like for the, for your speed. I love that. I mean, because you shouldn't walk uh, you know, the same speed if you're going uphill. It just doesn't make sense. <sighs> Milestones. We made great, great progress today. Even though, uh, you know, we went to a POI, we didn't find what we were looking for. Um, we came back victorious because we'd reached level 10. Level 10 means we have a forge now and we can make our own pot and they mocked us by spawning a pot in right next to our airdrop <laughs> knowing that we had the forge now so it's totally okay to uh, throw in Ugh. It's okay to throw in a pot now because Debbie can Debbie's level 10 and she can make her own <laughs> So spawn spawn away. Oh my god. I don't know where my home is Okay We're pointing the right direction now Aha, uh -huh, sucker, you never take me alive. Oh no, I hit the trash. I hit the garbage, the sacred garbage. There we go. Oh, bike. So good to me, mobile now. You can totally get that before level 10. <laughs> You have to be like level five at least to get all the points and stuff. So we were gonna make a pot. Oh look, that that almost melted everything. We got the pot. Uh, 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 uh. We don't need this, but we can drink it because we really know. Oh, oh, it's gonna be so good to have real food. Bacon and eggs. Oh man. Come to mama. Okay, how many can I make? 20. Holy cow, that's what. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Four minutes. Okay, we need a little bit more fuel. Eh. Oh, food. Yeah, now we have mushrooms. Yeah, I think, um, oh, we can cook this. <coughs> Murky water. That'd be another <coughs> three and a half minutes. There we go. Okay, I'm still not full, quite full on the water, so we're gonna go ahead and drink that one too. Oh! forgot this cache. I think what it is, is used to be like these cash were one each. So you can sell them. It's just three for five. They lowered it to where it's, it's not, um, it's probably half of one each and that's rounding up. So if we do 10, is it five or six? 
it's six. Okay, so it is three, five, okay. <laughs> I totally forgot to take that cash money with me. Awesome. So, it is 18 o'clock. We really don't have time to do anything. Really? Did we, did we get a forge? I mean, an anvil? Is it over here? No. I would have seen it. Okay, I don't see an anvil, so we're gonna, oh, and look, I had this, these things, and they have the price for this, so there are only 50 instead of 100, which is crap, I mean, those don't even stack, even with each other. So they take up a spot, I think it's worth more than 50, just to take up the spot. Awesome, so. Um, let's have a celebratory bacon and eggs because we are really needing that good, good food. 36 max stamina versus 10. So for two eggs, we get 26 max stamina extra, which I think is good because I don't think a boiled egg is going to or two boiled eggs is going to give you 26 hydration. I mean, should we see? We can see. What is one egg, one, one boiled egg going to give us? I mean, is there something else we could do with the eggs? Uh, we could make a blueberry pie. Oh, which, um, they beefed up the blueberry pie, so the blueberry pie is more nutritious than before. And we won't be able to see this, so uh, I'll save that for next episode. Uh, so we'll go ahead and call the episode here. Um, I'm probably going to stay close to home and do some more gathering. Uh, probably just upgrading the walls and the ceiling here get everything solidified so I'm protected a little bit better. Um, I did make up a, a boatload more of these flagstone blocks um, and I'm going to go around probably marking out the area to put the outer post so that I have a little walkway and I can shoot down easily onto the guys. And I'll probably, on this area down here, you can see where the terrain is one lower. It's, uh, I'm gonna have to all put it, uh, oh, oh, there's Mr. Chin. Mr. Chin, can you help me? I need some structural advice. Uh, my foundation is made of snow, not sand. Do you think that's wise? Whoa! Yeah, um, <clears throat> I'm interested to see, uh, oh, I did not back up. I'm interested to see how the zombies act around snow, because snow, snow has a lot less hit points than even dirt, um, so will they dig down and then come up through my wooden floors you think I don't know because um, <laughs> it would be easier for them to do that than to go through the top but so far they haven't seemed to do it but they do have access to just come in here if they want I'm curious if I, once I block this off, are they going to want to go down because it's easier? Don't know, don't know. But that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, we'll go ahead and call the episode here and I'll work throughout the night trying to make even more base improvements because now we get to go past episode three and I'm so excited. We got our bicycle, we got our forge, we got our pot. 
things are going in the right direction. <laughs> I'm very pleased. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.